Kavita, I am your friend and your yoga teacher for you all shining stars. Today we will go on an adventurous ride through the jungle, meeting many animals on the way, learning various things about these animals. Are you ready for the jungle safari to start? Yes? So come on, let's go all together. Kids, you must learn that we should always do warm-up exercises before practicing the asanas. These simple exercises prepare muscle and joints. But make sure we don't hurt ourselves while practicing the asanas. So the first one that we are going to do is neck up and down. Inhale, look up at the sky. Exhale, look down. There is a beautiful pond. Inhale, sun is shining bright. Exhale, oh beautiful flowers in the pond. Inhale, beautiful clouds. Exhale, so many fishes in the pond. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. And the last one more round. Inhale, look up. And exhale. Kids, moving on to the next, we will burn some fire crackers in the air. For that, rotate your arms sideways, slowly and gently. Lovely, my kids. Are you having fun? Excellent. And the last one more round. Do you want to do it opposite direction as well? Come on, let's do it. Two, three, enjoy the moment. And the last one, five. Rest your hand on your knees. Next, we will draw some beautiful rainbow in the sky. One hand to the side and other hand is painting the rainbow. And we will do the same with the other side as well. Shining bright rainbow. Wow! What colors are you painting in the rainbow? Personally, I love the yellow color as it reminds me of my favorite fruit which is mango. Kids, do you love mango too? Yes? Excellent! And the last round. Enjoy the moment. Release your hands on your knees. Well, time to have some fun with our legs too. Open your legs straight forward. Bring them closer. Place your both hands behind your back. And make our knees go bob, 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 bob. And have a lot of fun. Oh, I am enjoying the posture. Lovely. Enjoy the moment. Last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, my ankles are complaining too. They also want fun. Let's flex them. Inhale, flex in. Exhale, flex out. Inhale, flex in. Exhale, kick the ball. Inhale. Exhale. Enjoy the moment. And giving it a nice gentle stretch. Last round. In and out. So kids, are you having fun? Because the fun is going to the next level from here. Because we are going to do butterfly pose. For that, bring the soles of your feet together. Interlock your fingers and grab your feet with your hands. Keep your back and neck nice and tall. And start flapping your knees. Just like butterfly. Oh kids, I love butterflies. Do you? Yes? Great. Just enjoy the moment with me. Enjoy. Up and down. 
last five seconds only five four three two and one simple sit in cross leg posture relax yourself breathe in breathe out again one more time breathe in breathe out we will do the second round of this same pose again bring the soles of your feet grab your feet with your hands and start flapping your knees like butterfly oh so many butterflies are flying in the sky beautiful kids let's do it enjoy the moment last 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 and 1 sit in cross leg posture relax your breathe breathe in breathe out breathe in and breathe out are you kids ready for exploring the next animal yes let's go so this particular animal comes out every time when it rains can you guess which one i am talking about yes you guessed it right kids it's the frog so now we will take the shape of a frog for that sit on your heels you can see my posture here and make a fist from both of your hands place it next to your belly button keep your back and neck straight inhale and as you exhale bend forward look forward and do not forget to breathe here breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out one more last time breathe in breathe out inhale come up relax yourself breathe in breathe out are you ready for the second round of this pose yes let's go make a face and place it next to your belly button inhale and exhale bend forward wow look at us taking the perfect shape of a frog hey kids can you hear the croaking sound of a frog yes inhale and come up relax yourself breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out well the next pose is going to be more fun you know why because now we are going to learn asanas like two animals in one go one is cow and another is cat both are my loved ones for that stand on your hands and knees just like a table here you can see my posture inhale head up arch back down exhale head down arch back up to make it little more fun we will add in the sounds of both cow and the cat inhale more like a cow exhale meow like a cat meow Meow. 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 And the last one. Meow. Bring your hips back. Sit on your heels. Extend your arms. Rest your head on the floor. Relax your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. 
Breathe out. Slowly come up. Moving forward. Kids, how many of you have been to the famous deserts of Rajasthan? It's a lovely place. And do you know which animal is known as the king of the desert? Yes, you guessed it right. It's a camel. So now let's take the shape of a camel. For that, stand on your knees. With some gap between your knees, curl your toes in. With inhalation, bring your hands back. And grab your heels with your hands. Lift your chest up. Stretch your neck back with the exhalation. Lovely, my kids. Desert lands are not plain. There are sand dunes up and down. But my lovely kids, Campbell has to remain firm and. Strong, so be strong with me. With inhalation, slowly come back and sit on your heels. Have some breath here. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now let's perform the second round of this posture, kids. So, are you excited? Yes. Let's go. Stand on your knees. With inhalation, grab your heels and stretch your neck back with exhalation. And always remember to breathe, kids. Look at us being small, little, cute camels in the deserts. Walking through the deserts. Are you enjoying it, kids? Yes. Excellent. With inhalation, slowly come back and sit on your heels. Have some breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We have already talked about frogs, but can you guess which is that one animal which comes out right after the rainy season? Think, think. Yes, you guessed it right. Locust, or commonly known as a grasshopper, for coming into the grasshopper pose. For that, lie on your stomach. Rest your chin on the floor. Place your both hands beside the body, palm facing upward, legs and feet together. With inhalation, raise your upper lower body along with your hands. And feel you are flying in the air. Keep a gentle smile on your face. Hey, my lovely grasshopper. Do you feel air passing by? Yes. Lovely. With the exhalation, bring your upper and lower body down. Have some breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now let's perform the second round of this pose. For that, Inhale and raise your upper lower body along with your hands. Imagine that you are hopping through the green fields like a real grasshopper. Lovely, my kids. Just hop, 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 and hop. Slowly come back with the exhalation. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Moving on to the next pose, in this we'll be talking about a very dangerous animal. One which can easily take down any other animals just with a single bite. 
Yes, we are talking about the cobra. For that, place your both hands beside the chest, legs and feet together. Inhale and raise your upper body. Wow, we look exactly like a cobra. And make a hissing sound from your mouth. While moving your head. Are you enjoying? Yes. Exhale and bring your upper body down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now let's practice the second round of this pose. Are you excited kids? Yes, let's go. Place your both hands beside the chest. Legs closer. Inhale, raise your chest and head up. Wow, our spine is so flexible like cobra. Imagine, we are moving in a rainforest, listening so many animal sounds. Are you enjoying kids? Yes, excellent. Exhale and bring your upper body down. Have some breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Moving forward, we are now going to meet the most friendly animal for today. And I am sure some of you might have one at your home as well. Can you guess which one I am talking about? Oh yes, you guessed it right. It's a dog. For coming into the downward dog pose, for that, lift your hips up. Curl your toes in and slowly lift your knees off the mat. And as you exhale, bring your upper body towards the thigh. Hips high as possible. Always remember to breathe kids. Now let's do some walk by stretching our feet one by one. Lovely my kids. Excellent work. Now slowly bring your knees down, pull your hips back, extend your arms in front of you or to the side as well. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's practice the second round of this pose. For that, place your arms forward and slowly lift your knees off the mat as you exhale. Look in between your legs. And start wagging your tail like a dog. Wag, 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 wag. Are you enjoying it? Lovely. Now slowly put your knees down. Pull your hips back. Extend your arms in front of you. Have some breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Moving forward, I am pretty sure each one of you must have heard the Hindi rhyme. Machli jal ki rani hai. Right? So for the next pose, we are going to perform the fish pose. For performing fish pose, lie on your back. Place your hands below your hips. Raise your upper body by using your elbows. Inhale, lift your chest up, stretch your neck back. And as you exhale, drop your crown of the head on the floor. Imagine that you are a fish flowing in the river. Lovely, enjoying all the waves. Are you having fun? Excellent. Now slowly bring your head back. 
Release your hands and place your upper body on the floor. Relax in Shavasana. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now let's perform the second round of this pose. Are you ready kids? Yes? Let's do it. Place your both hands below your hips. Raise your upper body. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, drop your head down on the floor. Imagine that the elbows are your fins. You are using them to swim in the water. Lovely, fresh water. Breathe in. Breathe out. Are you enjoying it? Yes? Excellent. Now slowly bring your head back. Place your upper body on the floor. Release your hands. Have some breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now let us relax and feel the air of this beautiful jungle. Some gap between your legs, your hands away from the body and we will practicing the few rounds of balloon breathing. So inhale, fill up your stomach like balloon, exhale, push the air out slowly through the now, inhale, your balloon is getting bigger. Exhale. Your balloon is getting smaller. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And the last round. Breathe in. Breathe out. Simply get up. I thoroughly enjoyed this jungle yoga with you guys. Hope you had an equal share of fun with me. Enjoy the summer vacations. Keep loving yourself. Keep loving each one around you. And yes, Keep coming back to do jungle yoga with me. Bye-bye kids. Love you.